Uh, every morning when I was coming out from home, I used to say goodbye to my mom because I didn't know that I'm gonna come back home. You have to say for the last time because every day I was seeing people get sh shot like you're ready to die. Since you're maybe seven or eight years old, you can feel this scary feeling because you're hearing from your parents, you're hearing from your friends from school, you're hearing this guy died, this guy got shot, that happened, this happened. When you are in a country and planning to leave with nothing, with no documents, and think with the smugglers at the back of the cars, uh, running at the night times in the jungles, on the mountains, it was so stressful for me. You get hurt, if you fall down, nobody gonna take your hand, you die there. So hard sleeping in the cold weather, in the snow and raining on the stones and there is nothing. And you see people dying, kids, they crying all night and those people who die every day, they don't deserve to die. They deserve a better life. We had to come in the truck. And then I was 72 hours in a container with no oxygen, with no food, no water. In the container, the smuggler put me there and he didn't give me anything to eat or drink. I was thinking maybe for one, two hours, three hours, I'm going to stay here. But 72 hours, I couldn't even move myself. And uh, till I arrived to Dublin. Since I arrived in Ireland, I feel the real taste of peace and what's the meaning of peace and how you can feel it inside your body. I didn't have hope to bring my family at all. This was like kind of a dream for me to have my family and my dad and my brothers here and give them a new life. My little brother, he's in school. He's going to go to secondary school very soon. He's studying. My other brother, Bahram, he's studying in college as well. And he's working as a manager in a, in a food shop. And uh, I'm working as an area manager. I got a degree in the community development here. For what I have now, I work for it. There is nothing came easy. So if you want to get it, and if you want to make your dreams come true, you have to work hard on it. Yes, I see hard part, I see hard time, I see uh, lots of things that I shouldn't see. Till you don't see the down part of the life, you will never appreciate the top part of the mountain. So it's a beautiful country here. And uh, I'm Irish now as well. I feel this is my home.